Hey Aries, how you doing? We're going to be doing your reading here. Just a quick love read. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Keep in mind these are general. So let's get right into it and see um, you and your person. Person that you're thinking about. And um, let's see what we got going on for Aries. What we got going on for Aries. I'm going to put you here this side, your person that side. Flip it if you need to, okay? Um, first card that we get on your side here is the Eight of Wands, all right? So Eight of Wands energy here, you, you've been kind of making some changes for yourself um, because you can see in this card, you know, she's kind of, um, you know, just kind of transforming as well, just making changes to yourself, making changes in your environment, okay? Um, so let's see. Let's see what your person's feeling like here. The Eight of Pentacles. So we have the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody here, um, you know, maybe your person or this is you kind of looking at your finances, okay? Concentrating on work, building up your finances, wanting stability here with somebody. Let's see on your side. Um, we have the Five or the Seven of Chalices. All right. So the Seven of Chalices gives me energy here of, of you kind of just being content with yourself just kind of making things happen making the necessary changes um, for you to better yourself here let's see this person i have the six of wands so six of wands you can tell this person has you know a lot of energy this is a person that is very um they have uh, like a, a focus, a determination to be successful, okay? Six of Wands. I mean, it's just about this energy of being recognized. You know, this, this is a very, um, you know, I think a lot of options, maybe has a lot of options or maybe has a lot of suitors that want to get with this person, but they have their eyes on you, okay? Something to do with stability here, something long-term. Um, let's see. The world, okay, there is a new beginning here that maybe has started for you or is, is starting. Uh, let me get a card here for your person. And then I have the Two of Swords. So this person here has a lot of attention or gets a lot of attention, okay? Um, and I feel like they do want something long-term and st stable, but I feel like these other options that come towards them, I don't think they're interested in those options. Uh, but they do keep this person kind of in their head a little bit, okay? Um, you know, it, it's like making a decision. Which direction should I go? Um, and I think they're just getting a lot of lot of um, offers that are not real. You know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like someone coming in with, um, I'm a millionaire, you know? But they're not. You know, like really fake offers. And I think that they, they're cutting that off. I think they're going to make a decision here to, to move forward. Let's see. Let's get some clarifiers. Um, two of swords here, the four of swords. Yeah, they're taking some time out. Um, somebody here is taking some rest time just to think things through and um, make a decision to come towards you here. The six of wands, um, clarified by the knight of wands. Yeah, someone is coming in with a lot of passion, uh, but kind of be aware of a little bit of controlling. Okay, so Aries, I don't know if you're dealing with someone that has... Um, you know, it's like needing attention, okay? Um, so maybe there is someone here that needs a lot of attention and you have to really cater to them all the time. And then if you don't talk to them, they get their attention elsewhere, you know, something like that. Um, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. I have the King of Wands. Um, this is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Uh, and again, you can see in the picture, um, you know, it's just a energy of being really tied down, you know, just control. Um, so again, I don't know if this energy is very demanding of you here. Um, yeah, interesting. Let's go check on your side. We have the chariot. You know, there's movement here. You, again, it's, it's this energy of you just kind of moving forward anyway. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles. You know, you you ha you're kind of honing into this Earth energy here, focusing on your finances. Um, because you have a new beginning. You're definitely focusing on some, something new. Um, the Four of Pentacles. Again, Four of Pentacles is energy of really concentrating and building onto something here. Uh, putting your time and energy into um, building some sort of financial gain for you. 
um, you know, whatever it is, I feel like you're really concentrating on working right now. Uh, the bottom of the deck, I do have the King of Chalices, so it's like the King of Cups. Uh, but you can see in the King of Cups, you know, this person here is being very uh, controlling, you know, like really holding on to their emotions here. So, again, I have this, this, this push of, like, attention, someone needing a lot of attention. I don't know. Um, let's see what's going to happen here, because I don't know if you're interested in that. I feel like you're very attracted to them. Yeah, that's for sure. Whoever this person is, you feel very attracted. But it's like, that's one of the things, right? If you're very attracted to somebody, um, you know, how's the conversation? You know, like, how can you relate to this person in that level? Uh, let me get one card on the outcome of this. The King of Chalices comes out again. All right. So, and then Strength at the bottom of the deck. So, I feel like it's calling for you to kind of really go within here on this. Because I think this person that you're thinking about is the person that you want in terms of how they look okay um i feel like that maybe they do make you laugh here and there but really i feel like that it's it, there's a attention needing and i feel like you don't have the energy to provide that you definitely want it you want that traction that that uh, get out and have a good time and and have some fun and and you know and all that but but in the long run here you know when you are working on to something um, you know, this person is going to want attention all the time. It's like, can you give that? Um, and I feel like maybe they go back and forth with other options because, again, they need this constant attention. This might be just somebody that's on their phone all the time, um, something like that. But, but, uh, but again, it's up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. It's just um, it's what I see, okay? So that is what I see for you, Aries, in terms of energy of come, either someone coming towards you or you're kind of around this person. Um, but... Um, but a lot of attraction, a lot of attraction, okay? And that's both both ways here. This person is Six of Wands wanting victory with you here. So they want you. They do want you. So it's kind of up to you if you're going to let that happen. That's kind of what it is, okay? Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, hit the like, subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, we'll see you.